Hey, what's going on, Guardians? It's another week. We're at week 15 of Arms Day. Been doing this for 15 weeks straight. I hope this these this video series has been helping. Uh, we have four player versus environment weapons and one crucible weapon, two auto rifles, a fusion rifle, a pulse rifle, and a sniper rifle. Uh, it didn't take too long. It all depends on how long it takes you to crucible weapon, really, but it shouldn't take you long overall. Uh, but let's just go ahead and break down these weapons. The first auto rifle that you have tested is the Cabal Kill, so that's really easy. The next auto rifle is Precision Kills, Siege of the Warmine. The Fusion Rifle is the same as always, Kill the Minotaurs, so I usually do a Nexus Strike for that. The Pulse Rifle is where you're using the Crucible Kills. We've had this before. It's real fun. And then the Sniper Rifle is Double Kills. So I'm just going Siege of Warmind first with the Auto Rifle for Precision Kills. So as the Thrall just come at you, just shoot them as they come straight at you. Really easy. You've done this a million times before. The Sniper Rifle, get the Double Kills. I like doing this just because it's fun. I pick off these Knights really fast as the Double Kill counts uh, in that space and time that it takes to do that. And then I just kill the Thrall as they are trying to hack at me and I get those pretty quickly. Uh, moving to the Nexus Strike for the Fusion Rifle, you have the two Minotaurs about halfway through the Nexus Strike and then uh, when you kill those two just make your way towards the boss and you know you have like five or six Minotaurs there. Even if you miss these two you should have plenty of Minotaurs uh, inside the final arena here to finish off this uh, field test weapon. I think each kill is about 20% so you only need five Minotaurs I believe to to finish off uh, this weapon so usually takes about two three shots depending on how, how close they are you know how center mass you are in the impact but one to take their shield down another one to kill them and then once you do that um, you know that one's all done and then finish the strike don't be a dick um, and then going to the first mission on on the Mars so the exclusion zone this is a perfect way to just get some really quick ball kills if you're already farming the dreadnought that's a good way to do it too but since I'm just doing it for this arm, these uh, field tests, I just come here because it's really, really quickly to finish off this one. And then the Crucible weapon. We've had this Pulse Rifle in the past. This is the one that has uh, really high recoil, so it's high into the left and the spread is really large and it really sucks as ra at range as you can see there. So try to make get your kills close. I, I think assists actually count like 5% or something like it, 5 or 10% and I think kills are 20%. So just try to get close, and uh, you'll do that. I did in one match, so just move on with there. I, I didn't level uh, Gunsmith this week. I'm about a little over halfway done. Uh, but you do have purchase orders available, so those are available until Zer leaves. For me, it's tomorrow morning. So make sure you uh, grab those uh, weapons, even if it just means three more legendary marks if you have uh, But anyways, that's all I got for you this week. I hope this video helped. Uh, Thanks uh, for watching. Hope your day is beer and Skittles. And as always, thanks for tuning in, guys.